Maybe I'll go there. There may be no school tomorrow, but these kids and their parents will be there when the morning bell rings on the picket line with a message. I hope the teachers see that we support them and also that we know that their action is for our children. Community centers are setting up day camps that normally run over spring and summer holidays. This Toronto mom is helping organize a low-cost pop-up camp in her neighborhood for parents who can't afford to miss work. The cuts that have been proposed and are in place are harming all of us and so it's important for us to work together in collaboration to push back. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario says after weeks without talks, it was left no choice but to begin one day rotating strikes at elementary schools, something some high school teachers have already been doing. Ontario's Premier says the sticking point is salaries. He wants to limit public sector wage increases to 1% annually. If I came out tomorrow and said we're going to give them another 1%, I'd be all done. But we can't do that. We don't have the $750 million. We've seen a lot of finger pointing between the government and the unions. What are the big issues as you see them? Um, the big issues are the best learning experiences that our kids get. So that means class sizes that are capped uh, and small. We've lo already lost um, a special needs assistant in the building and our students are suffering because of that. These parents want both sides back at the table and no more cuts, but with no talks planned, they may be making more of these soon. Shannon Martin, CBC News, Toronto.